Greetings, food surfers. I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome to the Mealtime Show. And today we are doing a traditional soba style restaurant. Just gonna grab myself a towel and we'll go in. No, they've got clean towels inside. This is one of their delivery vehicles. Check out how this works. It swivels so that it doesn't spill the soup. Isn't that clever? Yeah. It's got these for the winter time so that your hands don't get cold or during rainy season so your hands don't get wet. Love it. They've got aloe growing out here. You know, the back alleys in Tokyo, that's where you find these gem restaurants. Yeah. I'll be ordering some Asahi or some Sapporo. Those are the two types of beer they got. Huh? Without even looking at the menu, I know what kind of beer they sell. And let's go look at their mascots. They've got the Tanukis. So this is a Showa era restaurant. It's the Tanuki, the raccoon dog. There's some more down here. They bring good fortune. And this looks like a bird cage. Not sure. I'm curious though. Or maybe it's for hanging towels. What do you say we go inside and order up some soba, buckwheat noodles, and a whole bunch of other side dishes? And down here in the basement, watch your head. <laughs> down here in the basement is the factory check it out got permission to come in here not this is the soba making the noodle making machine classic old school machinery there's the look at that right there there's the whatever it's called how awesome i wish i could give you a demonstration but i don't want to get in trouble <laughs> not a lot of clearance I'm, i have to hunch down because there's not there's only about 170 centimeters of clearance 160 you guys hungry? Let's do this. Oh, they got a vending machine. Yes, I'm loving it. Okay, uh, let's see. I think the Kitsuna, this is the one. It's got the, uh, what do you call it? Deep fried tofu. You get a ticket and then you give it to the counter staff. Okay, so that's one. What else should we get? Tempura over rice, let's get that. Mixed tempura for $14.50, at $10. It's the most deluxe item in the place. Okay, and let's see, finally, get a beer, yes, definitely. They've got two beans and they've got dyed bean. I'm gonna get a big one, I'm pretty thirsty today. $6.50. Oh, look at the coin slot. It's a, it's a tray, I love these, because you don't have to find the slot, you just pop it in, you throw it in. Groovy, I like that a lot. It didn't like my 100 yen though, okay. 650, let's get one. And I think I gotta get some chashu pork, right? That's a side order. Yeah, I always gotta try that. 450, 450 for some really nice, what do you call it? Braised pork. Oh my gosh, roasted pork, so good. How do you know, Eric? You haven't even tried it yet. All right, so we'll start, we'll start with these four and then we'll get more later. It's classic. Look at this classic style poster showing the buckwheat noodles and the tempura. Lovely, huh? And you've got udon noodles here. Pretty groovy. Here's a Tokyo train map. How to wash your hands. Food safety from, what is that? Heisei Nijiroku. What else we got? This place is great. I love it. Love it. Okay, we've got our Sapporo beer here. This is the Dai Bean, the big one. This is 750 milliliters. These are rare actually. No, not that much. 633 milliliters, that's what it is. It's not as big as a bottle of wine. Yeah. Let me read you their slogan. The perfect balance between malt and hops gives you a great drinking experience from the very first sip to the last. Okay, don't mind if I do. Cheers to you, team get some. Very refreshing. Okay, and the appetizer has arrived. This is called the Otoshi, which is the table charge. I'll put the cost down below, probably $2. This is Kitaboshi Daikon, Daikon radish, dried radish with other mixed vegetables and some little morsels of meat as well too. Mm. I don't much. It tastes healthy. Got sea plants in here, got mushrooms, carrots. I like dried daikon radish, it's nice. Hmm. Next up is the side order of braised pork, roasted pork, comes with some nice onion topping, some looks like marinated onions. Oh, that looks really nice. And some hot mustard. 
go easy on the hot mustard. Typically, you put this in ramen or you put it in your noodles, but it's, it's nice just eating it like this. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Just the perfect mix between meatiness and fattiness. There's a chewiness and a softness of the, of the, the fat. You can see the color. You see the white there. Gorgeous cut of meat. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, and those scallions on top. Very nicely marinated. It's in like a, a tangy shoyu, like a vinegar shoyu. Very nice. I want to eat another one, but we'll wait till later. I'm going to mix this in with the noodles. Here's another appetizer dish. It's called tatami iwashi. So tatami, because it looks like a tatami mat, I guess. The texture kind of does. And iwashi, baby sardines. And don't forget the mayonnaise with the chili powder flakes. Oh, that's too much, Eric. It's too much. That's just right. Look at those cute little sardines, eh? Mmm. A bit dry. It's definitely dried fish, but the mayonnaise kind of moistens it. And the beer will wash it down nice. That's delicious. Yeah. Wow. And easy to remember the name, Tatami Iwashi, because it looks just like a tatami mat. That's so clever. And these are the little fit. These are the little baby sardines. It's so clever. Love the presentation. Mm. And you can tell they're just cooking this on a grill right here. All right, they're cooking it on a barbecue. You can see that's charred right there. Brilliant. What's next is my placemat. I love this square placemat. I've never seen one of these before, a square placemat. I think we're gonna do some origami later. We'll do a, uh, a quick episode of cool stuff, perhaps. Perhaps, no promises. This is a dill pickle. Appears to be a giant dill pickle. I mean, the color going in. Mm. Cucumber. I'm gonna deal it all. Crunchy. It's a cucumber. I was really hoping for a dill pickle, which you will never find in Japan. They do not exist, except at some of the high end hotels. The next three dishes have arrived, and this right here is calling me out. This is fried octopus right here. Looks beautiful. My placemat is getting smaller. Let's hit it with the lemon, shall we? Yes, we shall. And it also comes with the hot mustard. Okay, double dose of the hot mustard today. Beautiful. Okay, going in for the octopus. Mm. Oh. It's on the level. It's better than fried chicken. It's better than onion rings. This is delicious. Nice texture. A little bit chewy, but not too much. And a really nice breading or batter. And the hot mustard and the lemon just bring it alive. I mean, not alive, it's already dead, but you know what I mean. Comes with a little side salad, some bean sprouts, some cucumbers. A very nice dish. Yeah. What? Let's go for a healthy dish here. This is creamy tofu. How creamy is it? Does it jiggle? It's not that jiggly. And it fits my new placemat perfect, doesn't it? Look at that, huh? Don't forget the sauce, boss. Is the sauce boss? You get an awful lot of it. I don't know. I guess you pour it all on, I'm not sure. Jeez, it's a tofu soup now, if you will. Very interesting. Mmm. Oh, it's a nice sauce. It's like a, I don't know, it tastes like a bowl of soba. Mm. Oh, this tofu is delicious. So creamy, it's like pudding. Mm. There's onions in here, gorgeous, huh? I could eat this stuff every day. I'm not a big tofu lover, but this stuff is bomb, yo. In fact, no, it's not bomb, it's lit. Oh my gosh, in fact, I'll drink to that, right out of the bottle.
Mm. Time to get excited, team gets on. More dishes have arrived, but I think it would be a good time for a break. Let's do an episode of Cool Stuff with the placemat, shall we? Okay, right underneath my fork here, it keeps shrinking down in size. And this work of art right here is what's called a Japanese shuriken or a ninja weapon. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna throw it towards the camera lens. I'm gonna get in right to your jugular, jugular vein. Okay, ready? Here we go. No, just kidding, that's not what it is. <laughs> Check it out. The owner, the owner of the restaurant is just giving me a gift. Look at this, 2020 Olympics. Oh. We've got natural air conditioning in here. And remember, the 2020 Olympics happened in 2021. And the next Olympics are in Paris, France. That's right. 2024. Are you going to be there? I'm not going to be there. Maybe I'll be there. They got surfing. They got topless beaches. All right, so let's cool down these three meat dishes here. We've got some beautiful salmon. Pan down, camera person. Pan down, pan down, pan down. This is good. Got to cool this meat down. Okay, so where were we? It's not a shooty can. It's not a jab. It's not a weapon. This is what's called a cootie catcher. You ever seen one of these before? Let me prepare it. It's been a while since I've made one of these. My mom actually showed me how to make these when I was probably, I don't know, seven, eight years old. Okay. Okay, ready? So you, you just kind of open up, open it up like that. <clears throat> okay. And I've noticed that this restaurant, it's so old that there are some little varmints that come in from the outside. So over here in the corner, can you show the corner right there? Right over there in the corner. I've noticed some some little insects coming in. I'm just gonna go in with the cootie catcher and see if we can grab some. Ready? In three, two, one. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yes. Let's dispose of properly. Okay. And let's move right in for the salmon. This is some a very interesting cut of salmon, isn't it? Very interesting cut. Beautiful, isn't it? It's very thick. Oh, look at that. It just fell apart. I was going in to cut it, and it just slid off of the bone. Fabulous. Shall we hit it with the lemon? Yes, we shall. I love the thick lemon wedges here. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Mm. Cast some tart lemon, as you'd expect lemon to be. Okay, here goes. Look at that. Three layers. Can you see that? Does the camera pick that up? Three layers to that salmon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Three layers and two bones separating the layers. That's how it works. This is delicious. Salmon steak, if you will. Okay, and over here is the fatty side. See, look, you can see the fat right there. Look at that. Fatty salmon. It's just like, it's right up there with fatty tuna. Oh, oh the richness. Oh, yeah. And over here, called daikon odoshi. You hit it with shoyu, and you can cleanse the palate a little bit. Get in there for a close up. Look at that. Look at the color. See the white? That's the fatty portion. It's just delish. Oh my god. Wow. This is almost one of those I'm not worthy moments. Alrighty, this next dish is an exotic one. This is called kamo, or I believe hippopotamus meat. This is a first. Yeah. Just kidding. No, this is duck meat. Kamo is duck in Japanese. And I love the little fatty sections on the side of these well-balanced. Pepper on there? Not sure. Onions come with it too. Oh, and it's in a sauce. Okay. Let's go right in. It tastes like hippopotamus, a bit gamey. Bit on the tough side, bit on the dry side, but I missed the garnish over here called yuzu kosho. So it's like a citrus fruit with pepper. Okay, look kind of looks like wasabi, doesn't it? Is that gonna help it? We'll see. Definitely get it in the sauce or oil down below. Okay, here we go, take two. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's pretty good. The yuzu citrus fruit, wow, it's got, what is it? It's got something. It feels like a drug, it wakes you up. They say that the yuzu citrus fruit is a mix between a lemon and an orange, but the pepper, it's they're using the uh, Sancho pepper. That's the one that kind of numbs out your tongue. So yeah, it's good to go. Try one of the onions, long onions with the yuzu kocho. Yeah, we will. Okay, next up, this is a type of fish cake. Oh, it's sliced, nice, I like that, how it's pre-cut. Okay, and what's that inside there? It looks like octopus inside there, maybe. This one also comes with some onions, and it looks like maybe that's ginger. And it's probably put some shoyu on here, too. Okay, here it goes. It's got the texture of an eraser, but a good quality eraser. You know, not one of those cheap ones. It's pretty good. And that's what it is. Fish cakes are, are very gummy just by nature. Nice flavor with the ginger. I like that, the ginger and the chives. Yeah. And this one here, right down below, is uh, this is called skunate. It's interesting because typically they all come on a stick, but where's the stick on this one? This one is special. No stick. Can you eat it with the spoon? Mm. Some good meat. I wonder if this one's different. Nope, they're the same. I wonder if this one's different. It's on a thicker stick. Really tasty. This one's different. It's got a bit of the nankotsu in it, which is the uh, chicken cartilage, which I love. It sounds gross, chicken cartilage. It gives it a bit of a crunch. Very nice. So minced chicken meat. Oh, powerful. Try it. Apologies it took so long for the soba noodles to arrive. This is called kitsune sero soba. That's right, the kitsune refers to the tofu that's in here. Look at that tofu. This is a deep fried tofu. Oh, you know that's gonna be gorgeous. It's meat-like. What's in here? Bean sprouts. Look at that. Komatsuna, which is mustard spinach. And then the deep sauce. Look at this sauce. This is the soba noodle sauce for dipping. The buckwheat noodles, which are over here. Yeah. I'm gonna go right in for the sauce. And the sauce is calling me out. Oh, now that's unique. It's got a sweetness. I must say a, a bit of a smokiness, too. Wow, pretty rich. It's good. It's gonna be really good with the noodles. All right, so we go right in. Let's go in for the noodles. The noodles are served cold, which is good. In the summertime, you want cold noodles. Definitely cold noodles is good. Sauce, pick up some veggies. Mm. Russian. <laughs> Gotta go right in for some more noodles. No, let's do this, the deep fried tofu. Stop playing with it, Eric, come on. That's a huge bite, let's just do half. Wow. I mean, wow, what a cool way to eat tofu. It's, um, got this, it's like beef jerky almost. No, not beef jerky, what is it? The texture, again, it's Japanese traditional food. It's all about the texture. Never had anything like it. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm not even gonna try how to describe it. It's fat and amazing and unique, fabulous, six out of six. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the second main event. There's a second main event for this meal? Yeah, there is. Check out this box, this lacquered box with the bamboo on it. That's pretty groovy, isn't it? I think it's this way, actually. This is, is it going up that way? It's kind of hard to tell. All right, here we go for the reveal. Open the box. Oh, wow. Look at that tempura. Wow. That is some really nice looking tempura. Yes. Wherever you go, it's different. And we've got some gorgeous looking soup here. Egg flour soup, very delicate. Look at that soup. Nice light broth. And then we've got some pickled vegetables here. Start with these guys. Sure. Mm. Some meat in there too. 
Okay, let's get in here for the tempura. It's like there are, let's break it down. There's three fried shrimps in here, or shrimp tempuras. Oh my God, it's huge. Look at the size of that thing. The head on it too? That is massive, absolutely massive. Mm. Oh. Oh. The batter is really light. I like it. It's really, really light, and it's got a really nice kind of like I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna be able to say the foreign substance that I've never had before in a sauce. Yeah. Wow, it's good. It's really good, but it's mostly all meat. That's what I like about it. A lot of times the batter or breading is too thick. The breadcrumbs, right? This is oh man. That's 95% shrimp. Okay, let's see if I can figure out what the sauce is all about. No idea, but it's amazing. Going for a little bit of the rice. Mm. We've got a Japanese squash here, or pumpkin. Mm. Oh, the sweetness. Yum. That's dessert right there. Yeah. Oh, we got an onion ring. Hello. Look at that. Pour out onion ring. I love onion rings. Oh, that is banging. We've got a bell pepper here. Mm. Oh, fabulous. It's the shrimp. The shrimp is the shrimp is the main event. Those three jumbo shrimps on the bottom. But we do have one more item here. This is eggplant. Love me some Japanese eggplant. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Amazing. The price for all this is like $10. Total bargain. I'm going in for the soup, egg flour soup. Mm. You know, it's a nice change from the typical miso that's served in most Japanese restaurants. I like this a lot. It's got, feels like cleansing properties going on. It's, it's very pure, like green tea. Mm. Okay, so that is gonna do it for this meal. They do not serve dessert here, which I'm okay with. We had plenty to eat, didn't we? So on my rating system, between one and six of the air catch, they were gonna go, you guys know where I'm gonna go, right? This is a full six. Hands down, it's lit, y'all. This is one of the best meals I've had in a long time in a traditional Japanese style noodle restaurant. Very good, all the side dishes were amazing, the sobo was amazing, the tempura was amazing, the staff is amazing, the owner is amazing. I mean, the volume of the television, meh but whatever, a lot of people, it's lively. So I, we're shooting this way, we, generally the etiquette in Japan is it's okay to film as long as you don't show the other customers. So that's the main reason why I don't point the camera into the room and show the, the real atmosphere, what's going on, but you can hear it in the background. So if it's a little bit too loud for you, I apologize for that, but it is what it is. It's a lively place, excellent meal. Giving away three snack packs. Put a comment down below and you'll be entered for your chance to win. I'll announce three winners in the next video. If you're not familiar with the Get Some Snack Pack, there'll be a link on the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.